Hi, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Saddam Hussain. Today we'll be discussing the difference between autonomous investment and induced investment. Autonomous investment and induced investment. There can be two kinds of investments in the economy. One is autonomous investment, the other one is induced investment. Let's see the difference between autonomous and induced investment. So before we read it, what's written on the board, let me simply explain to you. Autonomous, autonomous literally means on its own. It doesn't depend on anything. Autonomous. Induced means you are induced or you are attracted. What exactly is autonomous investment? Autonomous investment is mostly done by the government. When the government provides you roads, when the government provides you schools, when the government provides you scientific research institutions and construction of the infrastructure in the economy, the government is doing not with any profit motive. That is autonomous investment. That means it does not change with the national income. Not that national income is increasing, we start constructing unnecessary roads. If the national income comes down, it does not come down. Autonomous investment, that means number one, remember, it is mostly done by the general government. And it is not influenced by profit motive, not induced by profit motive, no profit motive. And it does not change with the national income. Whether the national income is going up or coming down, the autonomous investment will remain the same. That is why the autonomous investment curve is parallel to x-axis. So when you take income on the x-axis and autonomous investment on the y-axis, this will remain constant, parallel to x-axis. That is why we call it as income inelastic, it does not change. Whether the income goes up or goes down, the autonomous bit remains constant. And what exactly is induced investment? Induced, the word it left, I mean, literally says, you are induced, you are forced, you are attracted with the profit motive, number one. First thing, remember, induced investment is done with the profit motive. And number two, induced investment is done in the private sector, private enterprises or firms. So of course, private enterprises, we already know that their main motive is profit. And the third point, if the income increases, induced investment will also go up. Because in case of private enterprises, the firms, the, if they are earning more money, so they keep investing more and more so that they are attracted by the profit motive, then further their incomes go up, further investments, it keeps on increasing. That's autonomous uh, induced investment. So the next point, the induced investment curve is rising upwards. Why it is rising upwards? As income is increasing, induced investment is also increasing. That is income elastic, we call it. So now let me make a comparative study. Autonomous investment and induced investment. Autonomous investment is done by the government. Induced investment is done by the private sector. Second point, autonomous investment is not done with a profit motive. The second point, induced investment is purely done with a profit motive. The third point, autonomous investment does not change with the changes in income. It remains constant. Induced investment changes with the changes in income. That is, if the income is going up, induced investment will go up, income comes down, it will come down. Autonomous investment curve is income inelastic. Induced investment curve is income elastic. 
what it means uh, we'll put it here this curve is parallel to x-axis autonomous investment induced investment curve is rising upwards so autonomous investment is done by the general government induced investment is done by the private firms autonomous investment is not done with the profit motive induced investment is done with the profit motive autonomous investment does not change with the changes in income induced investment goes up with the increase in income comes down with the decrease in income autonomous investment curve is parallel to x-axis induced investment curve is rising upwards autonomous investment curve is income elastic induced investment curve is income elastic it is inelastic it is elastic so now let's see here you can see it on the board here distinguish between autonomous and induced investment this is autonomous investment you have induced investment here the first point you have is it refers to the investment which is not affected by changes in the level of income it refers to the investment which is not affected by changes in the level of income induced investment is directly influenced by the level of income it increases with the increase in income and decreases with the fall in income the second point it is not done with the profit motive it is induced investment it is induced by profit motive purely it is done by the general government autonomous investment induced investment is done by the private sector autonomous investment is done for social welfare when the government is providing roads street lightings government schools colleges of course it's a social welfare not profit motive induced it's done for profit motive purely and autonomous investment is parallel curve is parallel to x axis as it is income inelastic you can see in the graph here on the x-axis y axis we got income on the y axis we got autonomous investment this curve is parallel to x-axis when the income uh, whether the income is going up from q to q1 to q2 or coming down from q2 to q1 to q it remains constant does not change and this this curve rising upwards as it is income elastic it's rising upwards you can see here as income has gone up from OQ to OQ1 this has gone up from OI to OI1 when income comes down from Q to Q2 this has come down so that's it so we give a final division that is there are two kinds of investments in the economy one is autonomous investment one is induced investment autonomous investment is purely done by the government Induced investment is done by the private sector. Autonomous investment is done for or not done with the profit motive. Induced investment is done with the profit motive. Autonomous investment does not change with the changes in the level of income in the economy. Induced investment changes with the level of income. If the income goes up, induced investment will go up. Income comes down, will come down. Autonomous investment is done for social welfare. Induced investment is done purely for profit motive. And autonomous investment curve is parallel to exactly axis induced investment curve is rising upwards this is income inelastic autonomous investment and induced investment is income elastic that's all we have time for today's class till we meet next time